Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mila B. So today I have Elena Tobo. She is the founder and the creator of Ladies of Confidence. They are doing a beauty bot movement just to kind of promote women and young girls about self-confidence. So we're just going to share um, our stories that we have had over the years that kind of made us more confident with ourselves and our bodies. So for me, I was dating this guy a couple years ago. And he was one of those guys that were really into like the gym, bodybuilding, everything like that. And we just got done coming from a date. It was awesome and the date was really fun. And he looks at me and first off, he starts it off by saying, Mila, I don't think you're fat, but... And right off rip, I'm like, but what? Like... But what, if you don't think I'm fat, why why are we even, like, How talking? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, he continued to say, Mila, I don't think you're fat, but you can definitely go to the gym to lose a little more weight or to get more toned. So, I just was, like, speechless. Like, who? Did you even say that Exactly. Me? Like, who, what do you say after that? I was just kind of like, oh, okay, cool. So, I left. And it just really, like, it hurt. It hurt so bad. I went to my car and I cried. Like, I was in his driveway still, like, crying my eyes out. Because I'm just kind of like, he just called me fat. Low key. But then, like, I drove home crying, upset. And at that point in time, it just really, like, took its toll and its confidence on me. Because I'm just like, dang, like, really, am I fat? Like, is that what he sees in me? That I'm fat. And after that point, I did start going to the gym a lot. I became, like, a gymaholic. Because I was always there doing cardio, lifting. Because, I mean, someone called you fat. Like, that's not something you take well. So, after that point, I finally fell in love with myself again. I got my self-confidence back. Just because now that I'm older, it's like, Mila, you look good. Like, when I put my makeup on, my lashes on, eyebrows done, I'm like, you look good, girl. Feel yourself. Take your selfies. But then there are times I, like, walk past the mirror and I'm like, ooh, Mila, you can lose some weight. But then I think about it and I'm just kind of like, no, I love my body. I love being short. I love everything about it. But that just took its toll on me. And I think for young girls out there and women that are my age, that are older, that go through something like that and that struggle with self-confidence, you just have to find what you love about yourself and tell yourself that write it on your mirror, put it on a sticky note, put it somewhere that you can see it every single day to just kind of remind yourself that you are beautiful. Yeah. You know, no matter how small, thick, round, short, tall you are. Like, you yeah. you are you and you are unique. And that's just something you always need to remember and remind yourself of. So my story, um, I st it started around first and second grade and I was getting bullied, basically. And that's young. Yeah. Really young to get bullied. <laughs> My kids are mean. <laughs> yeah. I was getting bullied in school. Kids would call me fat and, you know, I couldn't do this because I was fat. And, like, it just really weighed down on me because I was into a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I was a cheerleader. You know, I ran track. I was talking my class. Yeah, I was doing good. And then, like, when people would tell me, you can't do this because you're fat, like, it just really hit me. Like, at a point in time, I wanted to quit cheerleading. I wanted to quit track. And you know how much I love cheerleading. Like, mm -hmm. that that's just, like, crazy for me to yep. even want to think that. And, you know. And kids when are mean to make you feel like, that, like, low. But it was really just the little things that helped me get through mm -hmm. what, you know, going to school, you know, getting through the day. Like, I had one friend. Um, she would always like tell me that Elena you don't have to worry about what these people have to say because you have this going on mm -hmm. for yourself and you know this is what you have to do to be confident. It wasn't until just like recently like last year or two years ago that I became confident in my body and was like Elena you don't have to worry about what other people have to say. And then um, I finally realized once I started this organization mm -hmm. that there are other people struggling out here with me too. Like I'm not the only one so I created the hashtag that beauty is by true. movement to promote self-confidence on social media and to help girls feel confident in their bodies because I know I'm not the only one. Well, I love, 
I love your movement. Like when you told me about it the first time, I thought it was such a great idea. The hashtag Beauty Bat Movement is not only a social media campaign, but we're hosting a fashion show as well at Riverwood International Charter School on January 20th. Tickets are $5 in advance and $7 at the door. This fashion show was created to, you know, help other girls feel confident in themselves, not only on social media, but on the stage as well. So I just thought it would be a good idea. Help girls feel confident and give them that spotlight that they deserve. Fashion show is only open up to 6th through 8th grade girls. All middle school girls are eligible to be in the fashion show, but they must attend the Saturday session. The Saturday session is required for all girls that are participating in the fashion show. The Saturday session consists of many games and activities just to prepare them for what's coming up on the 20th. For the social media campaign, you post a full body picture of yourself, you state your name and age, you explain one of the following <laughs> topics, how girls should embrace their bodies, what it means to be confident in your body, or if you have a story, share your story. And then you tag us at Ladies of Confidence and use the hashtag, hashtag Beauty Bot Movement. Once again, I am Elena Tobo, founder of the Ladies of Confidence organization. Don't forget <laughs> to follow us on social media at Ladies of Confidence on Instagram and Facebook. When you're posting, don't forget to use the hashtag and tag us. Tag three other friends to do it as well. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe <laughs> and don't forget to like share and comment this video as well we are trying to get this movement to every girl out there no matter where you are no matter how old you are um so thanks for watching and until next time bye we're the north atlanta cheerleaders and we support the beauty bot movement